I'm Tufail Patankar. I'm a consultant interventional neuroradiologist at Leeds General Infirmary in Leeds in United Kingdom. Uh, this is my colleague, uh, uh, intervention neuroradiologist again, work Mario. He works in Spain. I was wondering about uh, bifurcation, and it's a big thing, wasn't it? About how are you going to move bifurcation yeah, and treat bifurcation? It is, what do you think about it? Yeah, it is a controversial issue since, from the endovascular point of view, with the new technology, we can treat almost 100%. At least in my institution, we try always to to do endovascular and trying to combine uh, coil stents uh, with a new technology coming, why not 100% of the cases? Do you think it's, uh, it's, it's the most in thing now? Because if you look at aneurysms, bifurcation, you know, we know we can treat certain aneurysms. We knew we couldn't treat certain aneurysms. Do you think this is going to be good? Yeah, maybe the main limitation for us is acute raptor cases. We cannot use at least, or we can use this, of course, we can be more aggressive, but we it's... Got, we, got, we, we, we got web in which can be used in acute at the moment. Yeah. You saw my case, which I did, uh, the barrel I used in acute. How many, do you use a lot of bifurcation devices? I, I use, I use, I, 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 I treat a lot of uh, MCA bifurcation aneurysms, mainly elective cases. And in acute cases, I try to be more conservative. I do a, a, a primary coiling, conservative, and then retreatment one to three months after all, and trying to put a stand there, but I try to avoid the stand in acute phase. What's your opinion? Um, it's different in the UK. Most of the acutes get, I coil nearly 99% of aneurysms acute. Uh, elective is a different game. I think uh, the aneurysm which we're going for clipping, now there are devices coming in, aren't they? Which one have you used uh, in bifurcation aneurysms? I use barrel right now. Uh, Why stenting with solitary stent was a good combination for us. And now I really believe in the indication for pipeline or flow diversion from NCA bifurcation aneurysm. We have but that is for cases. acute or elective? For elective cases. Really, okay. For elective cases. For acute, we do re remodeling. Mainly, and if not, we use a solitaire stamp. Yeah, I mean, that's what our practice is. And honestly, one of the things I think, which wasn't really discussed here much, is about clipping. Yeah. I think clipping is still an option, isn't it? I don't know how many, how many get clipped. In well, it's still an option, but it depends on of the, of the experience of uh, your neurosurgeon, depending on the center. And of course, it's an option. We all discuss every single case with the neurosurgeon. And at the end, we offer the possibility to the, to the family, and the end, at least in my center, 90% of the cases we are doing in the vascular really? despite okay. being a MCA, a wide neck MCA, but for guess another reason. Right, because I, I think our practice is also quite similar. I mean, if I can coil with a balloon, I will coil with a balloon. If I can't coil with a balloon, then if they can, then clipping is an option. Absolutely. And then Absolutely. if clipping is not an option, then uh, then we got barrel, web, pulse rider, and uh, we're going to get the surgeons out of business, huh? And do you believe in the combination of these new devices, like putting a web and a flow diverter or different combinations? Um, I've done nearly 40 webs and a proctor a lot too. And uh, um, I think you have to be very careful when you use. The web has been designed for, for aneurysms. Combination, I know a lot of people do it. I don't do it much. Um, you can use Aclinos and some other stents and they are good and you can use that. I don't flow divert acutely, but I would not hesitate to put a barrel acutely because I think it's very similar technology in terms of the, the, you know, the, the thermogenicity. I think it's quite similar. So I think it's what do you usually do in, in cases like a blister like aneurysms, rupture? Yeah. yeah, I have done that. That was quite like a blister, wasn't it? So I have used that. I do use flow diverters and I have used flow diverters in blister aneurysm, but they are not easy. And, you know, and you now with your shield technology, that might be a good option, won't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you have an option there? We are still, despite having uh, using the shield, we are still using the same regimen mm. with aspirin and Plavix. But okay. uh, after the trials of the study, of course, it could be an option, a very interesting option. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the shield. I think by bifurcation aneurysm is a problem. Blister aneurysm is a problem. You know, of course, there are partially thrombos and they are different, but in blister aneurysms and uh, bifurcation aneurysms, I think we have an issue here, isn't it? I think we blister, we struggle. And what is, uh, 
what is your regimen when you have a poor responder case with a patient which is poor responder to Plavix? Do you change to another medication yeah. or do you continue to...? No, no, I mean, we don't test in UK, more, most of the places, or at least I don't test uh, because I think there's enough evidence, but there are logistic issues in that. Uh, but I give a loading dose of aspirin Plavix, so that, I think, makes a difference. Uh, Touchwood, we haven't had a problem in terms of getting people where they have clotted off and I do a lot of flow diverters and it's not been an issue but it, it, I think um, acute uh, what I do is I, I give Prazigrel and give four hours before and then put a, put a small coil, put a flow diverter across and with shield it will change. What do you think? I think it really is amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. The technology and have no limits. I think I'm quite lucky. I can use a lot of different devices. And because I've used different devices, I think it makes a big difference. You should try, you know, once you try all those three different or four different, whatever we got, and you will realize that they're all designed different. All aneurysms are different. You know, and I think uh, then once you use different, you'll realize that one device is not probably right, where it probably would be right for something else, you know. Yeah, I think the important thing is try to get experience with one device, trusting the proctors, get experience and not trying one single device and then not another and another. Just be confident with a device. See, we know we can do it faster. We can do it now much more reliably. The technology is getting really better, isn't it? You can barrel things, you don't need a proctor. It's, you, can, you can web, you need a proctor, it's a different device. But, we, but it's very fast and quick, whereas barrel also is quiet. You've got a pulsar, that works differently, it's also quick. You don't need much training on that. So I think technology is getting better, isn't it? But what we don't have is long term. We don't have five years, and I think surgeons will criticize us if we don't get that sort of results. Yeah. That's a tell you, maybe the next year we have a new devices and nobody cares about the, the old ones. But Absolutely. We need to go step by step Absolutely. and yeah, getting, I think getting clinical results. We have to get, uh, I, I mean, I don't take a new device and use it unless I um, think that can give me a reasonable result. So any new device I use has always been compared with clipping at the moment, you know. So if I, when I started using web, if it was not clippable, then it was web. So the British data is very different, which will come out very soon, okay, and you will see it. The British data is on aneurysms which were effectively not targeted for clipping. And then they were pushed to different devices, really. At least, and with the new devices, at least also comparing with the all in the vascular, like coiling, we need to be at least at the same complication rate than coiling. Mm -hmm. I really believe that we are being able to treat 100%, or 99.9% of the cases uh, endovascularly. I really believe. I think this is going to be a great time for us. Great time for us and the next generation, I think. Absolutely. We are but here. Everybody will want to be an intervention neurologist, I think. Yeah, hopefully. Yes, I think so. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you.